All right, let's look at this lesson. Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss the uh, use of splits or tunable splits too on a, a pedal steel guitar. And it's just a quick overview. So what you have, uh, and you'll see this mentioned and you'll see on some guitar makers, they offer a tunable split on a knee lever or on a pedal. And basically what you're doing, you're working two pedals together. You normally think of like on your A pedal, the one that raises your five and 10 up a whole tone. So it raises it from like here at the eighth fret if I pick my fifth string. When I engage that pedal, that's the same as moving up two frets. So it raises it two frets. Now if you have a split, you can split the difference. In other words, I went up two frets. If I engage a pedal and a knee lever together, it could, al it could also give me like just moving up one fret. So I split the difference between my eighth fret and my tenth fret. Now the reason for that is it gives you different chord combinations. It also affords you the opportunity on my guitar, the way I'm thinking of, you can do half pedals, which is another video uh, for discussion. But in other words, if I press that A pedal all the way down, do it bottoms out, that's the same as moving up two frets on that note. Now if I just depress that pedal a half, and that would be like moving up just one fret. Now with a split, I can raise it up two frets and then engage a knee lever and get that same, that same note. Now what you're doing here, uh, or the way I'm thinking about it is, I don't have to have a feel which is, is certainly doable, but if you're playing something a little faster, you can do it on the fly and not really have to worry about that. Also, too, I find that I've played in groups where you'd have to wear like, I had to wear a certain type of shoe or a boot. We had to wear like a cowboy boot. And then sometimes you have a different feel on your pedals with that. So this allows you to mechanically do the same thing. Okay, so what a split is doing then is you're splitting the difference between, in most instances, you're moving a, a string a whole tone, you're moving it two frets one way or the other and then you're splitting that, you're going halfway back. Okay, also on my guitar, I take this fourth string, raise it up two frets, just like normal, that's a C pedal on most steel guitars, that's called your C pedal. And then I split it, mechanically, with a knee lever. Okay, so that one I use to get that type of chord, like an augmented type chord. So let's look at the first one. Uh, I raise five and 10 with the A pedal. Then I have the split on the knee lever that normally when you lower your fifth string a half with the B to B flat, that's the knee lever and pedal combination I'm using to achieve that half uh, fret movement. So A pedal, 
And then when I engage the B to B flat knee lever with the A pedal still down, you achieve that same thing as that. But it's it can be dialed in true and it's it's solid when you feel that that uh, knee lever engage, you know you're only gonna move a half a fret. Okay, and then I use that in a lick like this. So I'm walking at Okay, now with the C pedal, the one that raises your fourth string, I use the E to E flat knee lever. So you see how it's working? You have a raise and a lower working together to achieve that half fret movement. So again, I said that C pedal is moving that fourth string from your eighth fret to your 10th fret. Okay, and we know that our ED flat knee lever lowers four and eight. So when I press those together, I have that movement right there. Okay, so the basic principle is that you're making t a raise and lower work together and one is kind of canceling out the other. So in the first example, you're using the, a raise with five and 10. And then you're engaging the lower on the knee lever, which is lowers five and 10. So when you play them together, Okay, so that's those two. Then there's another one that's real common, or I should maybe not necessarily say common, but there's another one that people use, and I don't have it on my guitar right now, but I'll show you with a, uh, using a bar, I'll show you how that one works. So sometimes uh, people have the sixth string, they're lowering it down a whole tone, so they're lowering it, and I'll go down the second fret so I can do it with an open bar be the same thing in that position. So you're lowering that string down two, two frets. So we again, we see this two fret movement either up or down. In this case, it's down. So doing it here with a bar to, to just to demonstrate you, I, I'm playing four, five, six, and then just lifting the bar off a of six, which would be. Now in that one, a lot of times people are use their B pedal. Again, we have a lower and we have a raise. The B pedal is raising that six string. So that brings it back from down to, to back to right here. And that's another common one that uh, a lot of the pro type guitars will have on it. And that gives you a minor. So I'm at my second fret, which is F sharp. That would give you an F sharp minor. If you use that combination, uh, normally that's a knee lever that lowers two. And then you use your B pedal to bring it back up one fret. And you have that movement. Just the opposite of what we did down here. So you have a raise up here you're using. 
So you raise it, then lower it down with the split. In that instance, if you had that, or you some players have that, you're simply lowering it a whole tone. Then engage the knee lever and the pedal. You're bringing it back up one one uh, half tone. Okay, so in uh, just to go back over it real quick, what you're doing with splits is that you're actually using a raise and a lower together. Most of the time it's a pedal and knee lever combination. And then you are taking that and if in most instances what I've seen is that you take uh, it usually moves two frets one way or the other. It's either going up two frets or lowering two frets, and then you're bringing it back one. That's the note you're achieving with that. Same thing as I showed you here on the second fret. It would be like going down and then bringing it back one fret. It gives you a lot of, maybe like I said, even smoother. I use it... Uh, And it makes it to me, instead of trying to have to feel that, which is it's totally doable, but I just like to have it as a, as a mechanical pull. That, that way it kind of takes the guesswork out of it. Okay, so this is just a quick overview. If you have some other ones that you know about, uh, or that you have on your guitar, please put it in the comments and share with us. But like I said, the most common ones that I know of are lowering, or is raising and lowering the fifth string together, lowering and raising the sixth string together, and then I have, I'm sure guys have the same thing, but I raise and lower the fourth string. That's the two I have, and like I said, some people have that six string. They have that combination. All right, so I just wanted to share this with you, and there'll be an upcoming video. I'll show you some of the chord combinations that I, I achieve with this uh, fifth string raise and lower uh, split combination. All right, so let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to go ahead and press the like and subscribe buttons. You can also join the channel and receive early access to our videos by pressing the join button below. Alright, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, Jacob and I just want to take this opportunity to thank our supporters on Patreon and YouTube, especially our Tier 3 supporter, Jim. So as always, keep picking.